I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question which one of our subscribers wants help with. Well, thanks for the encouraging result and posting questions. I will like you to also mention if I can take your name while making a video for you. Here is the question. It is actually question number 13, page 206 from Advanced Functions, book written by Nelson. Those who are doing advanced functions grade 12, MHF 4U, are using this book regularly. So the question here is, the distance of a ship from its harbor is modeled by the function d of t equals 2 minus 3t cube plus 3t square plus 18t, where t is the time elapsed in hours since departure from the harbor. Now it's a pretty long question, so I have cut few parts and I'm actually dealing with uh, more important ones where I will cover those also which I am not mentioning here. Well my policy is to provide you solutions in half a page. Okay so I'm working with few restrictions. Part A here is when does the ship return to the harbor? Part B is draw a sketch of the function where t is between 0 and 3. I've already sketched it for you. I'll explain you how to do it. Part C is estimate the time that the ship begins to return. Estimate the time that the ship begins its return trip back to the harbor. Okay. So whenever you are given a function like this, a polynomial function, it is a good practice to factor it. So first part of this question was actually to factor. So let's factor the function. We'll write d of t as equal to. So 3 is common and t is also common. We'll take minus 3t as a common factor for the three terms. We are left with t square minus t and 6, 18 divided by 3 will be minus will be minus 6. So that is what we get. Now here we have a quadratic equation product minus 6 and some minus 1 so this can be factored as minus 3 and the negative number should be bigger so t minus 3 times t plus 2 okay. so that gives you a cubic equation with zeros at t equals to 0 t equals to 3 and t equals to minus 2 okay. the question is when does the ship return to the harbor? That is the first question. So when the ship returns to harbor, what really happens? At that time, the distance from the harbor should be zero, correct? That means we are looking for a value of t when d of t can become zero. So I can equate a d of t as equal to zero and find the value of t from this factored form. So the possible answers for us are, let me write all possible answers, and then we'll pick the right ones, correct? It could be t as 0, it could be t as plus 3, which will make this factor 0, t minus 3, or it could be minus 2, right? Now, t equals to 0 is the starting point, so the ship really started at this point, so it was really at the harbor, correct? no doubt about it but it's not returning is going away so that is not the required answer so we're crossing that out and then at 3 it returns back to the harbor so that seems to be the right answer and minus 2 is not in our domain time is after t is the time elapsed in hours since departure so negative 2 is not in our domain right and therefore, the answer for this question is 3 and the units are hours. So we write 3 hours as our answer for this part. So d of t is 0. So that we can write d of 3 equals to 0. Correct? So that is our answer. Now, well, you can always question me why I know this is the starting, this is the ending. Uh, so it's a good time to even sketch the graph. Right? So, which is part B for us. So, part B really explains us part of what we did in part A. It says, draw a, a sketch of the function from 0 to 3. 
So when you have a function like this, you have three zeros, which we just found. So on x-axis, you can have those three zeros. So these are our zeros to start with, right? So these are the zeros. Now, as we see, leading coefficient is negative for the function, correct? So that means right side is down. And since the degree is three, opposite ends, right? So what we can do is we can just draw a cubic function, right? Going through these three linear zeros. So we get this dotted line. Now the question is draw a sketch of a function where t is between zero to three. So what we will do is we'll actually forget about other part and then we'll highlight the part which goes between. Okay, so let's do it like this. Let's fill this up okay so that becomes a smooth curve between 0 to 3 now how did I get all these values well simple answer is that what you need to do here is that you have to make a table of values right so I'm not making a table of values here but what you need to do here is write the values for t let's say we'll make a table of values so fill in t as zero starting with correct t is in hours right like that and distance dt apply the formula plug in the value we get this zero as zero correct now take other values now you're just plotting between zero to three so it's a good idea to take at least six points right because there's kind of a smooth curve so six points could be we can divide it into intervals of let us say half right so find the value for d of t, use calculator, at t equals to 0 0.5 and then 1 and then 1.5 to 2.5 and 3, correct? So once you do that, you'll get a couple of points, right? So once you get those points, just join them and get your graph. So that is how you're going to sketch the graph. You know it's a cubic function, so you know the shape of the graph. Now part C is estimate the time that the ship begins to begins its return trip back to the harbor. Now from the graph you can very clear, clearly see that that is the turning point, right? So on the graph itself you can estimate like this. So it is less than two. So what you can do here is you will see the values. It is increasing in this interval kind of it is increasing from here to here right somewhere and then it starts decreasing until it becomes zero at this point so what you can do is you can approximate a value between these values so try to get as accurate as possible by approximating you can go to two decimal places also so use your calculator right and find Actually, it'd be good to find a value which will be between one, you know, it's more than one, and it is less than two, right? So between one and two, try out some values. For example, 1.75, things like that. So try a two decimal value. So see how the values increase and decrease. Make another set of table of values here to get accurate answer. So that is my suggestion about this. So let's summarize what we have learned, how to solve this question. If you have a word problem like this, factor it so that you know how to sketch it. Once you factor, make a rough sketch. So when you make a rough sketch, you know that's the starting point, this is the ending point, answer your question. Now it says when does the ship returns, you know distance should be zero, so it returns there. And then to sketch a good graph, you have to actually plot some points. Take at least six to seven points to plot and then answer the rest of the questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.